and welcome back to another one. Today we're just going to be having a bit of POV fun. Now you know I like to use these older sort of digicam kind of things. Well I just borrowed one off Richard or Richard's wife more specifically and it's this awful little Canon it was the SX510HS. Now this shoots JPEG only. It's nothing like the Canon PowerShot G10 which I absolutely love but I have already taken a few pictures with it and it's not that bad really so bit overcast today which is probably going to be good for this thing because it hasn't got the dynamic range so bright highlights are going to blow the hell out so yeah we're going to go for some moody shots maybe some black and white shots but I have been out with it in nice sunny conditions so I'll chuck some of those on the screen at some point throughout the video as well so let's go POV let's have a fair shot Yep, will do. Oh, this super zoom is mad. That's bonkers, oh. isn't it? So this is one of those cameras with the stupid 30 times zoom on it and that's optical zoom as well so you're not losing any resolution up to 30 times which is quite cool so you can get stupidly far away and I got a shot of the moon the other night I'll put that on the screen in just a sec but yeah it's quite good because it does have stabilization in the camera as well so using that long end of the zoom is actually quite easy architectural business let's get around the corner like about there oh you're all right mate you won't get in the shot that's quite fun Push in a bit Sweet bet. Yes, I can get in from here.
So why do I like to use these old Digicam type cameras? I mean, this is marketed as a mini bridge camera and it's probably one of the worst cameras I've actually ever used in terms of you know technical ability, but it's still very fun. And you know, it's you're gonna get better pictures from your phone, no doubt about it, because of the computational stuff that's in a phone, making those pictures look cleaner. But this thing has that little advantage with that optical zoom. And it's little things like that that I really like. Now these cameras, they don't hold your hand. They don't make things easy because of the restrictions that they have over modern mirrorless cameras and such as that, which hold your hand through the entire process. These things actually make you think a little bit. And um, I enjoy that. It keeps you on your toes. It keeps you, you know, keeps you thinking. So yeah, I mean, I would encourage anybody to use one of these. You're not gonna get the best image quality out of it as you've seen probably from the examples in this video, but I don't know, there's just something very fun about using a camera that's technically just, just kind of bad. These cameras are marketed at people who just want simple but effective. You've got that big, long super zoom to cover you from something like 28 to 800 mil. You don't ever have to change lenses. It's just job done. JPEG only. You don't have to think about post-processing, apart from maybe shoving a little bit of contrast and saturation in there in a phone app. Job done. The stabilization in this thing, even at that 30 times zoom, is actually pretty good and was returning relatively sharp images. So for social media, this thing is probably not a bad option. Now, as I've already said, you're probably gonna get way better image quality from the phone because of the computational stuff going on, but it's it's a phone. I don't, I would much rather personally use a bad camera than a good phone for photography. I just don't like the ergonomics. I don't like the way it feels. It doesn't feel like photography to me. That's just a personal thing. I would much rather use something like this. All right then, so let me know what you thought of the images. Let me know what you think of the camera. You know, did you use a camera like this? How do you find it? Stick it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.